Howdy everyone. You can see that I now have the wheel pant halves basically finished. I've Obviously I've got the nut plates in place and I've got these temporary screws in place. I do not or I have not countersunk the front nose piece for these screws. So these are standing up quite a bit, but I'll countersink this later. Um, like I said, uh, the fit is, is really good now, especially with the screws in place. It draws this down quite nicely. So these are pretty good at the moment. At this point, since I can now anchor these to one another, if I wanted to, I can come back in here and clean up areas that are a little bit too tight, if that's possible. Um, I don't know that the seam would ever be too tight, but if there are some areas that need cleaning up, I can do that now since I can actually attach them to one another. But I don't think I need to do that. I'll, I'll worry about that a little bit later. So I can show you the nut plates at some point when I take one of these front halves off, but it's nothing spectacular, right? Like I said before, at this point, you're familiar with countersinking, drilling, um, putting in nut plates, and things of that nature. So it's really not a whole lot to uh, for show and tell. So these are ready to roll. The next step was to get the airplane off the ground. And like I said, plenty of ways to do this. I use what I have in hand um, as best I can and, of course, as safe as I can. So I've got my wood crate underneath, i got a piece of plywood on top, I've got jack stands on top of that, and then I've got a board that runs this way, left to right, uh, covered with a towel at the very front of the fuselage. And then in the back I just have my standard whatever. Uh, this happens to be my engine stand and a crate, things of that nature. I've checked level back here on the the deck of the tail i've also checked level here on the longer ons and then of course i got my blue bar in place to check level across the longer ons and everything is within 0.1 of a degree of one another so um to continue putting on the wheel pants, I needed to remove these attach brackets because I did not install the nut plates. I remember when I had done the brakes, I thought, oh, I'll come back and do these nut plates later. Well, kind of slipped my mind and here we are, it is now later. So I had to take the wheels off and uh, take half of the brake pad off to get these out. It's no big deal, it's only three bolts but uh, just a little bit of oversight on my part. So now after the fact, I have to go back and put nut plates. So each ear gets a nut plate and then this longer ear gets two nut plates. So I'm gonna do the layout for those and I'm gonna go ahead and get those nut plates on the brackets and then I'm gonna reinstall the brackets onto the, uh, the landing gear. Not sure what happens after that, but um, that's the first thing I'm going to do. There are also these brackets here. The, these are stock from uh, Vans. I haven't done anything to these yet, but I have to. I got to do all the standard uh, final drill size, edge finishing, deburring, things like that. So that's what I'm going to start with. Nut plates, get those ready for installation, and then I'm just going to start working through trying to get these things um, mounted correctly. So I had in the past, in uh, some of my other videos, I had talked about gear leg stiffeners. Um, I fooled with that initially. I have the two stiffeners made and I started to fit them with clamps, but um, I was using standard um, ADEL clamps and I was re-bending them so that the clamp would come around and the stiffener would fit in between them. And with the, uh, with the rubber cushions in place, no way was the fairing going to fit. So I took all the cushions off. And even with the cushions off, I wasn't happy with the fit. The fairing just seemed to be too tight around the clamps. 
I would fit it around the clamps. There is a pretty big gap at the trailing edge and to pull that gap closed to run the um, hinge pin through, I, would, I just wasn't happy with any of that. So I abandoned that for now. My original plan was not even to worry about it. I was going to go ahead and wait until I start doing my taxi tests. And then if I have shimmy, I would add the stiffeners. But since I have everything set up now off of the ground and level and this and that and the other, I may come back to doing the leg stiffeners before I set this back on the ground. But I'm not there yet. I just want everybody to know that I haven't completely abandoned that idea just because I had mentioned it in some of my other videos. I don't want to leave that hanging. But I will come back to that at a later date. So my plan now with the plane off the ground... Um, I do not have my intersection fairings yet. Those are on order. I haven't received them yet. I don't know how long it's going to be before those show up. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on the wheel pants. I'll get those on both sides installed and correct. And then um, I could work. At that point, maybe I'd go back to working on the stiffeners because that has to be figured out before the fairing, the leg fairings get positioned. And then hopefully by then I'll have my intersecting fairings and I can work on those. And then this thing can go back on the ground. So nut plates, edge finishing, deburring, blah, blah, blah on those little pieces. And then I'll start trying to figure out how to get these things in place. All right. Talk to you guys later. Howdy, everyone. So these uh, plates are now done as far as uh, getting the nut plates on. Simple nut plate stuff, uh, we've all been there before, so like I said, I'm not going to go into explaining how to install nut plates or plate nuts, whatever your preference is. So I'm going to clean these up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to put these back on the airplane, and then I'm going to, like I said, edge finish and get these prepped, and I don't know if these can be installed yet or not, but... And then we'll get, uh, we'll finally get to cranking on these wheel pants. So brackets, and then uh, we'll see what happens next. Talk to you guys later.